I think I got like three, four countries left, I think, or something like that. <clears throat> All right, so on to the uh, on to the main focus here of today's stream: Croatian domination, part four. Where did I leave off? I remember. Um, I think it was Kosovo, Macedonia. No, it was Serbia. My units are all around Beograd, so I guess I uh, annexed Serbia per request. And I think I also annexed Macedonia as well, I'm not sure. I've already got a lot of spies around my country, as you can see. Different nations with spies in Croatia. And yet again, it is Yugoslavia. That's what Croatia looks like. From Serbia to Albania, those Let's Plays are now a Croatian Let's Play. It's Yugoslavia for the third, fourth time all over again. And I know some people are going to get bored about that. But people love it when I start and play Let's Plays around the Balkan area. So, again, thank you so much, guys, for the support from there. It means a lot. And I'll continue to play them until we all get wor or, yeah, worn out by it. All right, so... I think Bulgaria is my next target. Albania. Did I say I was going to leave Albania alone? I think. <sighs> Dang it. What did I say in my other previous parts? I don't think. Yeah, I think I did say I was going to annex Albania. Or colonize them. Alright, you know what? Let me just annex Bulgaria. That's my main target. I'm trying to connect to the Black Sea here. And, uh. I already got the Adriatic Sea here nearby me, trying to go to the Black Sea. So let's just focus on Bulgaria first here, because I completely forgot what I was supposed to do with Albania. Maybe colonize them again. If you guys know me for the thousandth time, I love to colonize Albania all the time. That's just the way I play when I'm trying to uh, take over Albania. All right, so Bulgaria it is. I've got allies here that are going to back me up, Romania, Greece. Nothing to worry about. Italy, on the other hand, alliance as well, but they don't like me at all. Plus, they really don't assist me or haven't assisted me in my previous parts at all. Alright, so let us send our military towards the borders of uh, Bulgaria. Do we got air units in there? I do. Let me take them out here real quick. I don't want to use them yet. Where's an airfield? Where's the airfield? There it is. Oh, I got a leopard here. I'm going to bring him over here. Up to speed with the rest of my armada. And that's going to be sent over there. And that helicopter, same thing. Boom. Alright. I don't like to mix up my air units with my army. Just because I don't want to damage or lose my air force. My air force is precious right now. don't have that many air units to use. And I'm going to use it against... I don't know, probably hungry. Wow, this is the game is stuttering so bad right now. Every time I have the beats in the background, the browser opened. That happens. Illinois mapping. I knew you were the first one to gonna that was supposed to join. And yes, as you can see, I made you monitor. I'm pointing at the wrong screen. I'm supposed to point at the face cam because that's where you guys are. I made you moderator just because you showed up all the time, and uh, I removed. Another moderator, Rust Tag. I haven't seen that guy in a long time, so I removed him as moderator and added you and TM Bro. Actually, no, not TM Bro. He's always been a moderator. Who was the other moderator that I made? Completely forgot. Uh, it was you and jeez, I forgot who the other moderator. Well, I don't remember, but it was another moderator that I haven't mentioned that I made moderator repair some units here but anyway yes welcome on mapping to the stream for creation domination part four and russia versus usa part nine i'm trying to rush this and the reason why i started this stream so early is because i'm trying to head out somewhere at 2 p.m i even got the timer here uh i'm trying to go to micro center with a friend and my brother he wants to buy out a pc and uh <laughs> the pc that he got from amazon the motherboard does not work he wasted like over a thousand dollars there so we're trying to head to Micro Center so we can try to buy a real PC with his hands instead of ordering it online. Hopefully he gets his money back. Because that's 
over a thousand dollars down the drain with a motherboard that does not work so gotta go after 2 p.m. Oh, man I don't know why this has been happening but the game has been stuttering so bad recently and I cannot fix that I mean I could try to turn off the beats in the background the browser but I don't want to do that I want to keep some music in the background and everything is copyrighted cuz YouTube sucks Google sucks they're gonna get your ass for that and that's why I have it on low volume <clears throat> alright so Bulgaria it is my first target here I think we are ready hopefully I think we're ready right forgot to add garrisons I should do that before I start this war oh wow yeah hang on I don't want Bulgaria charging in heck yeah man ah he's a great friend he's a co-worker as well he works at UPS just like me and we just started hanging out a lot he's a close friend now a true friend and uh, kinda feel bad for him for buying that <clears throat> thirteen hundred dollar PC on Amazon with the motherboard not working like how can you mess up the motherboard what happened it's supposed to be that PC by the way is much more powerful much more expensive than my PC well my PC I bought or I didn't buy my dad bought it back in 2011 which was around a thousand dollars and his PC again is thirteen hundred dollars and is more powerful than both my brothers and my PC combined and I'm trying to go to Micro Center so we can help him out, choose the parts, a working motherboard, and we can try to play games and hopefully he can be a part of my streams again. So, yeah, I feel bad for the man. He's a great guy, he's a great friend, a true friend. What the hell was I doing? Oh, yeah, waiting for Garrison. Alright, there we go. Grease is charging up first. Grease is charging up first. I'm not gonna charge, I'm gonna stay back and let Grease do the dirty work. China has declared war. Ask for support. Don't care about that there. And if you were thinking Supremo multiplayer, it's gonna happen. Someday, sometime. If I have the time to stream in the next couple of days, it won't be tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be a busy day at work. But maybe Thursday or Friday, I will let you guys know when I'm streaming and playing Supremo multiplayer because I still wanna have that. Supremo multiplayer and invite everyone, invite as many people as I can and try to, uh, I guess, do team versus, not team versus, but one on one versus where I just sit back, watch, and commentate over the people that are facing each other. So I'm trying to have like a tournament, a invitational. We still haven't talked about this on the Emma Deus chat. I apologize on my mapping, but it's or that's what I'm trying to do I'm trying to have some kind of invitational some kind of 1v1 1v1 versus between each other or us online supreme ruler all right so we're charging up here in the fabrications well Gary I don't think stands a chance again here comes Romania now trying to back me up what about Italy I haven't seen Italy at all trying to send reinforcements that kind of sucks it's only this region that tries to help you out. And that's why I always make alliances with any of these countries around here in Eastern Europe. Whether it be Ukraine, Romania, Bulgaria, Albania. They will assist you no matter what. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so let me go help out. What am I doing? It's all grease there. Got the Romanian Air Force coming in too. <coughs> Damn. I just ate like four tacos by the way it's taco Tuesday so I just ate four tacos you can't miss the opportunity and pass on taco Tuesday man that's what Tuesdays are for rather just eat tacos at home than eat that garbage at Taco Bell I hate Taco Bell I used to eat it but kinda grew sick of it and I just hate Taco Bell now all right, so there we go. We got Bulgaria there, and we finally connected with the Black Sea. Got the Adriatic Sea here to the west. Boom, east meets west. 
There we go, Croatia. There we go. An extended version of Yugoslavia. That's what it looks like now. All right. So, yep. Looks beautiful. Looks perfect. I love it. That is art right there. And uh, my next target will definitely be Albania, but I'm not sure if I wanted to make Albania a sudden target. Is that the motive back then? Huh. I'm not sure. That was my plan originally. I like to keep Albania there. But. Dang it, I forgot. Why is it such a hard decision? I don't get it. I do know that I want to try to uh, head up north a bit and try to annex both Austria and Hungary if I can. Austria, Hungary, there we go. So, this might kind of look like a new Austrian Hungarian Empire with Croatia. Not really, but maybe sort of actually. Yeah, I'll try to see. I mean, Albania. Yeah. You know what? I'm just going to decide not to declare war on Albania. We're going to keep Albania there. Let's just head for Hungary. That's a tougher challenge anyway. We got to really be careful with Hungary. Or should I go for... Uh, should I go for Austria first? Austria is much easier. Compared to uh, Hungary. Hungary has a larger military. Oh man. I can't decide. What am I afraid of? I have alliances. I have backup here. Alright. If only the game stops stuttering. I should... Since I'm going to micro sensor later today, I should probably buy like an SSD or something that makes my PC a lot faster because again, it's 2011. This PC is from 2011. It's pretty obsolete. The parts... I mean, I have a new graphics card in there. I have uh, a bunch of other stuff that is new. I felt like someone was knocking my window. How can you? How can a person reach up in this window? What am I talking about? It's the mailman. It's the fuck. That looked weird. I think. He, I, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm a stalker of the mailman. I feel. I feel like he saw me peeking through the blinds. But the mailman did not come on Friday, last Friday, and he did not appear yesterday either. I guess. The real mail the mailman, the original mailman, our mailman that usually comes here. I guess he's sick or he's on vacation, but it's a different guy and he sucks. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. Where the heck are you, man? <laughs> I'm waiting for my mouse. I'm, oh, I ordered a new mouse, a D.Va Overwatch mouse because D.Va was a lot of fun playing, but I haven't played Overwatch since then. All right. So, Hungary is my first target. Screw it. Romania's gonna have to help me out. I think I might finish this Let's Play in one stream. And yes, I will be uploading this stream to YouTube as a highlight. A full highlight. Even though the game is stuttering drastically for no apparent reason. Even the face cam is kind of slow. Yeah, oh my goodness. That is like... 15 FPS that is bad but we'll see if I'm trying to waste some more money over there at micro I've never I've never bought anything at micro or wasting money there but everything is amazingly good there the price is pretty high up but I really do want to upgrade my PC as quick as possible and try to make it faster especially when I'm trying to render or stream that's what I care for the most um Although I have that anime convention coming up, Otakon. Why is that artillery unit so small? What? What happened? Why do they shrink so much? Why are those so small? That's weird. Alright, whatever. I have garrisons here ready. Yes, gotta be careful with Hungary. Oh my gosh. I cannot control. And the reason why I ordered a new mouse, by the way, is because this mouse, this mouse wheel does not work at all. It's, it's messing me up every time I try to scroll up or down. And plus, again, I'm trying to get a new mouse, finally. Alright, I'll accept all those offers. And we will declare war on Hungary now. Boom. Alright. 
Hungary is running away. What are you doing? They didn't like that artillery fire. They squealed and ran away. Squeal for me. Oh, it looks like Romania's gonna probably be charging up. Maybe no. Oh, here they come. All right, let's see what happens here. Can't take Hungary lately, just because again, they've got a decent sized army. Oh, if only. You know what? Let me go to. It is fast speed. What? I have it at fast speed. I didn't even know I had it at or have it at. What is it? Faster. Very fast. Fast, faster, fastest. Oh no, Croatia. Oh no. Oh my goodness, Hungary. They got so many light infantry and BTR vehicles. We might have to halt them over here. If only I could try to control the damn thing. Because this is not going well. I don't have any other reinforcements to bring. I got a couple here. Where's Romania? Where's Greece? I need you guys now. I really, now I need you guys. Oh, thank goodness they showed up just in time. I really needed them now. North Korea, whatever. Where's the stats at? Almost 200 unit kills, by the way. Why am I losing units? What is going on? Oh, it's just their artillery and AA vehicles. They really don't care about them. I know, I know. We should save all the units, but artillery and AA vehicles are relatively weak in my eyes, and I do not use them at all. God damn. All right, Romania, Greece, take it away. Take it away. I want to see if I could try to surround them, get behind them, and try to destroy those units over there before they're escaping. And it looks like I can. Oh yeah, it works. It worked. Works, and then it worked. That's how it went. Oh, we got these units surrounded here in that village. Nice. Budapest. Let's up ahead. I do have fog of war enabled, right? I do. Alright, so once we're done destroying these final units here, I'm gonna head straight up towards Budapest. Hungary's coming in with more reinforcements here. Gotta go help up my allies real quick. Can't let them down. I've already lost 60 units though. Oh my goodness. It's just one light infantry. He's already got a silver star. There's that bullcrap I hate. Oh, don't let him escape. There we go. I still can't wait for the Shenmue uh, full playthrough around August 21st. That's what I'm looking forward the most. Shenmue 1 and 2 on, P on the PC when it releases on Steam. I'm going to try to stream at least two hours every week for both Shenmue's. First Shenmue 1 and then Shenmue 2. Oh, it's going to be a great journey, guys. I promise it is. The game will not let you down. If I say this is by far my all-time favorite game, favorite game of all time, I can reiterate and say that all the time, but Shenmue, my gosh. When they announced Shenmue 3 at E3 2015, I got tears in my eyes. I've waited 14 years for Shenmue 3. So yeah, around August 21st, that's what's going to happen, guys. Full playthrough, two-hour streams every week. Starting with Shenmue 1, and then after that's done, Shenmue 2. Dose. Alright. So Hungary is kind of struggling here now. There's nothing they can do, except I think the lag is killing me the most right now. Action pack. Oh, excuse me. Damn, Coca Cola. So damn good. I apologize for the shirt being dirty again. This is a work shirt. Oh! I did not go to, I mean, I did go to work, I showed up kind of late-ish, like 20-30 minutes late, but my boss, my main supervisor just said, 
to uh, yeah, to me and my brother, just go home. We've already sent people home, so just go home. We're overstaffed today. That's never happened ever. I've worked there over a year now, and they've never sent me home well, once when my main supervisor supervisor wasn't there. But he sent us home finally, and uh, yeah, we return home. I just watched some anime, my brother went to sleep, and uh, that's never going to happen again. That is never going to happen again, going home early. Showed up to work, clocked in, clocked out after two minutes, I only got two minutes <laughs> of work. That is the least amount of work, and by that, just walking around the building trying to find my supervisor, and then... Him telling us, just go home. We're overstaffed. Two minutes of work. That's awesome. Shit. It was really doesn't bother me just because I usually stay there till 11 o'clock. Yeah, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and my hour shifts are much longer compared to the other regular employees around. Regular co-workers. So yeah, I have nothing to worry about. Oh yeah, mm. victory, drink, and ax. Damn straight, condemn. Hungary has been an ax and fall to the mighty Croatia, I accept. Alrighty then, view empire. And look at that. Does it look like Austria-Hungary? Does it look like to you? Mm. I forgot how Austria Hungary actually looks like. I just need to take Austria and then maybe my mind could clear up a bit at looking at the map here. This cluster mess of a map of an interface. I think Slovakia was under. I could attack Slovakia as, as well if I wanted to as an extra bonus there. But after that, that's it. Um. I don't think Serbia, Montenegro, those areas, even Bulgaria actually weren't a part of Austria. Yeah, that's right. They weren't a part of Austria-Hungary. Again, it looks somewhat like Austria-Hungary after I annex Austria, but maybe much bigger? I'm not sure. I really can't tell, to be honest. All right, Romania, Greece, they're getting ready for Austria. They're getting ready. They're ready. All right, so, uh, oops. Let me bring these 102 units. That's all I need to bring, right? Just 102. I'm going to repair some of these guys here real quick. I need it. All right, that'll do for now. We're making our way downtown towards Austria, ready to annex. It's way bigger than the uh, original Austria Hungary. I gotta actually now that I now that I just said it, it really does. Just because I've got Bulgaria and Serbia, a couple of other Balkan nations included in there. So yeah, after Austria, it's gonna definitely look much bigger, and maybe Slovakia, if I feel like throwing throwing it in there as a part of the new mighty Croatia. All right, so since Romania has its units ready around the border, I'm just going to head straight to the action, declare war in Austria. Not waiting around, not slouching around. Let's get to it. Repair a couple of more units that need it. Oh, yeah. I'm still trying to get to uh, Russia versus USA pine, pine. Pine. Russia versus USA pint pine. Pint nine. Part nine. All right, look at that. Romania is charging in first. Right off the bat, okay, I'm going to deal with these units here. For a sec there, that looked kind of looked like Latvia there. Just because of their red, but their a reddish color in their flag is much darker. Darker. Oh my. They're trying to surround me. What were units? Are they pander units? We got a couple there. 
Alright, here comes Romania with more reinforcements and Greece coming in to play with Austria as well. Looking good. Oh, we got another war. Every time I declare war, somebody else decides like, oh, he's starting it. Don't blame us, UN. Blame it all on Croatia for starting something first. Condemn my goal. Alright, let me check something real quick. African nations as a supreme ultimate usually never go to war, sadly. Even with high volatility volatility and uh what is it? Very high random status. Plus actually this is on default, I think. Difficulty or not difficulty, but the uh, AI or something like that. Angola and the DRC. Alright, I wonder how that's gonna play out down there. Alright, so, Ween, I don't think has any garrisons at all. There's nothing there. Need to take land from Poland, Romania. <laughs> uh, Poland? Forget Poland, I'm not trying to get to Poland. But I think, as you said, there's some parts of Poland that were a part of Austria-Hungary. I mean, I could literally look up the map right now on my phone, but I'm too lazy and I just want to focus on the game right now. Plus, I could do it on my desktop, but if I do that, uh, I won't be able to launch up Supreme World Ultimate or open Supreme World Ultimate again. I don't know why that happens. Something very annoying. I don't know why. Um... All right, nothing going on here. Our Romania. Whoa! Hey, hey! Slow down there. Slow down there, buddy. <laughs> Romania. Uh. Hang on. I think my mom is telling me something came in the middle for me. I don't know if it's true. Hang on. I'm sorry. I gotta go.
Guys, I've never been more disappointed with the mailman and with whatever. Alright, so again, uh, as earlier, uh, I was talking about ordering a new mouse, uh, an Overwatch Diva mouse. Since I need a new mouse, my mouse wheel is screwing up. Um, I'm not sure if the mailman got mixed up. I'm not sure if the person that I bought the the mouse from, again, it's from China, scammed me. But what came in the mail is something that I've never seen in my life or has happened in my life ever. What came in the mail, guys, and I was excited. I opened it because I wanted this new mouse already. And it's a glow-in-the-dark diva mouse, by the way. I'm not going to show it on stream, by the way, so no, but what came in the mail, what came in the bag was a dildo. <laughs> I can't believe I said it. What the hell? What the fuck, man? I'm not sure if it's the mailman's fault. I'm not sure if it's the person that sold it. If he scanned me, or if it belongs to another address. It has a person's name on there. I'm not going to say the name, but the person, let's just call him person with the letter C. C ordered this product, and that is not the product that I wanted. And God, I got a fucking dildo in the fucking mail, man. Are you kidding me? I don't know who to blame. Who do I blame? The mailman? The person with the letter C? Or the scammer on eBay that I bought this mouse from? Good thing I'm going to Micro Center. I might as well get a new mouse right there, actually. Shit, dude. I'm at a loss for words right now. I, uh... I cannot believe what came in the mail. What the fuck? That's never happened. Ah, jeez, man. What the fuck happened? Oh, man, whatever. <clears throat> Anyways. Back to the, uh... The real thing here. Let me just get back my bearings here, guys. Uh, Romania charged in into the capital of Austria as quickly as possible. They didn't want to wait around. I guess they're kind of tired of me trying to use them to their advantage here. And every time I go to war, they have to go and back me up as well. So I guess they're kind of tired and just decided to take Wien as quickly as possible and end this war. So here we go. Now we gotta wait. I'm destroying all these perfect units here. God damn it, I could have kept those, you know? An axe. There we go. Austria has been annexed. And I guess. This is where Croatian domination ends in just four parts. I mean, I could go for Slovakia as an added part, an extra aftermath. But I think I'll do that. Maybe sometime in the future, near future, if more people request it. Like, if they want to see Croatia again, I guess I can throw an Aftermath part in there and an Axe Slovakia if I wanted to. Not Albania, okay, not Albania, but Slovakia. And I think that's what I'm going to start doing. Like After every Let's Play, maybe, minor Let's Play, I should say, um, if you guys want it, if you guys want to vote for a bonus extra part, an Aftermath part, then I'll try to take one random country. So... That's what I'm planning on now. But there we go. That's it for Croatian domination. Completed. Finally completed another minor let's play. And I started two new ones anyway. And I had to finish this as quick as possible. Started ones with both Kosovo and Tunisia. And I want to start one soon with Illinois mapping if you're still there. Uh, the state of Illinois. And kind of want to deal with Florida. Especially since they kind of kicked my ass in that compilation versus so i'm trying to get to that
but yeah, Croatian domination is complete after four parts. Final stats here. 293 unit kills, 72 unit losses, roughly 23,000 military casualties. Definitely a lot bigger than the Austro-Hungarian Empire during World War One, And the army is very large now, actually. 265 or 256,000, excuse me. And our military, oh, that rose to 261,000, nice is literally ahead of turkey now and right behind the dictatorship of north korea so there we go oh the economy how's your economy treasury is always up gdp is at eighteen thousand, which isn't that bad to be honest and that's behind portugal and ahead of slovakia wow wow makes really much more sense to invade slovakia but again that'll be a bonus part of you guys requested population is at 49 million uh, still ways away. All right, so there we go. Croatian domination part four is done. Croatian domination, the let's play is complete. And I hope all of you guys enjoy this minor let's play with Croatia, especially to my Croatian viewers and other Balkan supporters around there, around Eastern Europe, and to the rest of my viewers around the world that were looking forward to this let's play. Thank you so much, guys. It means a lot, and it's always fun trying to play let's plays that you guys request. It's a lot better doing that than me picking a a nation that I want to play as. So that's why I'm telling you guys to request whatever you want, and I'll do it. It's much better like that. So thank you so much, guys. It means a lot from the bottom of my heart, and I'm looking forward to doing more. All right, so save that.